So yeah, I saw Avengers Endgame. It was beautiful. It was awesome. It was tear inducing. Oh my god. It was also surprising though. Um there's a few people who said things about it already that you probably had already seen, but how did I feel? First, I can't believe Hulk didn't get to punch anybody. I don't know, Russo's. I love you guys, but I think that was a missed opportunity. For revenge is nah, best uh, cold served dish with a big Hulk smash. After the motherfucking opening fight of the century because nobody had ever expected Hulk to get his fucking ass handed to him by Thanos in Infinity War. So we had to wait a year for Hulk to do the Infinity Snap, which was amazing, but and if you remember in Avengers 1 when Dr. Selvig says, oh, you know, the Tesseract is just giving off low levels of gamma energy. And Nick Fury says, that can be dangerous. That's how it ties all the way back into... Because I was like, how the fuck can, can a human put on the, 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 the... How can he put on the gauntlet? I mean, Tony, I really also think that they should have had the gauntlet made of vibranium instead of some metal that Tony comes up with. But, you know whatever at least still people were fucked up after wearing tony's glove because it mashed up their arm because it wasn't strong enough but what else did i think um the weakest scene was clinton natasha that was just it was i mean upon a few repeated viewings it was okay but it wasn't it wasn't thanos and gamora so you know, there, there, there was that was the only cliche in the movie. That ah, 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 let's do this right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let go. Ah. We've seen that before. What we haven't seen before, though, dotted going. Oh, oh, that beginning scene. It was really good. Well done. Well done. I like that little one. How about ketchup? It's the, it's the little tiny details that matter in life. The tiny ones. Tiny. You know? Ant-Man eating a taco. What's up, regular size man? A lot of nice touches. Um, It just... It was such a different direction. Everyone must have been like, what the fuck? It was... I mean, both of them were things we'd never seen before. And the first one... It changed all the rules... Everything. Infinity War was the best example ever of all time of a bad guy winning. Mac. Magnificent. Perfect. Perfect bad guy wins movie. And now we actually, uh, you know, people were saying the thing about Endgame is Endgame had to do so much more heavy lifting because it obviously had to reestablish the universe. But it also had to be its own movie. But then at the same time, you know, it wanted to pay fan service to the last 10 years of Marvel Cinematic Movie Making with Heroes. So, in, you know, Infinity War is almost three hours. They could just do whatever the fuck they wanted and just mash shit up and go all over the place. No rhyme or reason. But with Endgame, they have to logically and coherently solve the greatest problem, one of the greatest problems that's ever been presented to humanity in a movie. Half the universe is dead? I like ah, uh, that's huge. That's I can't I even think of a single movie that had a bigger problem than that. Like literally, like what's a bigger problem than half of the life in the entire universe is? No, oh, I should hold on. Say you know, half of the life in the entire universe is. The decimation, the snapping. Oh god! Would I have made it half of me? Oh god! I'm a twin. Would I have lived? Would my twin have lived? I don't know. But also, also, they did not explain 
why the original five surviving? Why wasn't it a random mix of old Avengers and new Avengers? Why was it Bucky and Groot and Black Panther and Spider-Man? Why did all the original five stay? There was no explanation for that whatsoever. Even though, you know, peace to Cap, peace to Iron Man. And uh, speaking of those, speaking of those, spoiler, 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 like I super spoilers this whole thing's been a spoiler you should have known that but the last point is seriously honestly i have to say one of the most perfectly one of the most perfectly filmed scenes in the history of action movies in the history of human cinema in the history of epic battles without question captain america wielding mjolnir Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not only did he, when he picked up Mjolnir, fucking mashed up Thanos for the first time with it. Oh god. I almost came. Oh god. It was so beautiful. But the moment we've been waiting 10 years for Avengers. Mjolnir. Assemble. Oh my god, it was so fucking good when he got the story. And then every Avenger in the history of the Avengers movie was behind him when he said Avengers Assemble. This was the moment that we needed, that we didn't know we needed, the moment we lived for and died for and dreamed about. And it was perfect, Russo brothers. Perfect. Actually perfect. Mm, very few children on or grown men on this planet could have imagined a better scene and a manifestation of that moment. So thank you for that. And then the other one. I am inevitable. Clink. And I am Iron Man. Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god! One of the greatest final moments in cinematic history. We're talking a hundred fucking years, buddy. We're talking maybe a hundred and motherfucking nineteen years of movies. One of the greatest moments ever put to film. Is a masterpiece. Is a motherfucking mock. Oh, God. It's probably what? I mean, it's $1.2 billion opening weekend. What? 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 One out of every seven human beings on the planet. Something like that. What do you think? We've got that much people seeing it. That many people saw Iron Man. Wonderfully. Go from untainted, unstoppable, frantic, timeless, eternal genius to... Rest. It was great. Oh, 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 oh. Rhodey should have got a word in, though. They didn't give Rhodey a word. Rhodey, I mean, it was great. Rhodey was the first person to see him. It was nice. He had this special Iron, pa Iron Patriot armor on. But, um, he touched Tony's face and didn't say a word i wish he said a word i mean the, the touch was nice but i wish he said a word. i mean what word could he have said so that happened and then he went and got pepper which was fair enough that was real and you know it was interesting because the reversal of the scene happened of infinity war where peter parker was hugging on iron man instead of you know iron man hugging on peter parker who died so that was great. That last moment was great with Peter and Iron Man. It's beautiful. Um, and then Pepper. Pepper was nice. Pepper was cool. It was, you know, that was her best moment. I mean, she technically kissed the dead body, but you know, it was just freshly dead. We're not gonna bother about that too much, you know. The light went out, and then she kisses him. 
She could have kissed him and then the light went out. Yeah. He did be the details. But the last thing I will say, I wish that Thanos, my dude, oh, wait, 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 shout out. I got a little more Ebony Ma in the movie. My bro, Ebony Ma, he didn't have any clever, clever lines, really. They, they didn't give, they, they had people show up again, but they didn't give them the magic, powerful moments of the last movie. You know, my boy Ebony Ma, then I will steal it from your corpse. <laughs> or you must be popular with children. <laughs> oh my God, he had so many fucking awesome one-liners in that Infinity War. <laughs> Uh, but this one, nah. He's just he's just there though. He's my dude. He's my dude. But he only lasted until the end of the last battle, and then uh, he dies. And Thanos dies. Oh, oh. It was great. He lasted. He survived. And Okoye killed not Proxima Midnight, but Corvus Glaive. I think the other. Vicious, yeah, yeah, and it was cool how Ant Man killed the huge fucking dude. Wow, like he stomped him hard, hard. It looks like they crushed him, like crushed him, crushed him. I see all this to say, my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy gets dusted. Uh, my boy, Ebony Ma. I just gotta shout him out because I'm so happy they brought him back. And then right after he gets dusted. Thanos sits down and he breathes and it was a beautiful parallel to him sitting down at the end of the last movie in an Infinity War when he sat down and looked out upon a grateful universe where the sun was rising but this time it was like the sun was setting on a different universe and he had the same breath But before he dusted, I wished he let Thanos say something like, Now I come, sweet lady death. You know, something, something along the lines. Sorry. Death will have me. Something like, you know, make a, a little subtle reference to the old lady death girlfriend thing. Or, and or just some insight along those lines and just... Connecting the comics and the movie and making it dope. But, you know, it was still dope the way they did it. Thanos. I was wondering, are they going to kill Thanos? They did it. Still not perfect. There's a few loopholes in the timeline. And uh, old Captain America was still still floating throughout history. You know, just floating in the back there. What the fuck? And a uh, few interesting little questions. Um, that's about it. Oh, and the last thing I will say is the tremors under the Atlantic Ocean that Okoye felt that she had to tell. I mean, he, she, it was even kind of suspicious when she, the way she was talking to um, Black Widow. And she said, how we deal with tremors is to not deal with them. It's a... Uh, hmm. Me thinks the lady doth protest too much. Maybe I think that there is a little, little seed planting for some. Namor, Submariner. That would be dope. That would be fresh. I would like to see that. So, if Namor was the next villain in the new Black Panther movie, oh my god. <laughs> so, the question is who plays? Namor. Hmm. Who plays Namor? Holla at me. Holla at me. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. It's been fun. This is my end game review. I'm done. I love you. The Russo brothers did the greatest thing thus far in comic book history. They destroyed half the universe and then they brought it back. It wasn't perfect. There's still a few little lingering lines floating around, but it's still the universe is, is, is enough. It's enough. It's 2023 and Peter Parker's still a teenager and and some people might be older at the school. Whatever. Who knows what the fuck? Aunt May is still wild. Who cares? It's over. I love you. 
Avengers Endgame. I love you. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> Cheeseburgers.